Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer get some stuff done, then you're in the right place. Wait, you were asking where you could get some absolutely sick and awesome shades to be just like Cole the Corn Star? Well, if you go to pitvipersunglasses.com, you can find the link in the description and use the code that's down there. You too can get 10% off. Don't forget, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the pile we got out here. This is all metal from one room. One room. We still got the other half of the basement to do. But before I get to cleaning today, I need to shuffle some corn around. This bin that's behind me is what we call the hopper bottom bin. And it's starting to get low on corn. Are semi-truckers fill under this auger? So my job is I need to make sure corn stays in this thing. So let's turn some augers on. Ten degrees, no gloves, and a sweatshirt don't mix. She's frozen. Frozen too. Note to self, next time I'm going to cover these before we get half an inch of snow. Oh boy. I'm guessing this one is also froze, so we're just gonna try to break it up before we turn it on. All right, let's try this again. It might be a little messy, but it works. Tiger Cat, did you get in a fight with a raccoon, buddy? Like you got to throw the raccoon. You should see the raccoon. And just when I got everything all going, Ronnie showed up. Oh, right, I think I'm back. I'm feeling a lot better today. The last week, there was three days I pretty well stayed in bed, and then I've been dragging my feet, just kind of wore out. But today, I feel a lot better. I got reading a magazine, and it said one thing to make yourself feel better when you're not feeling good. Heinz ketchup. So I put some Heinz ketchup on my food today and I feel a lot better. We got a couple bottles there yet. We got a couple bottles there yet. Oh, we got a bottle there yet. So we're sitting, oh, look at this. We have the little packets for when we're out in the field, we can throw little packets of Heinz ketchup in our lunch box. So we're sitting pretty good. You know, I might have to grab some chocolate milk. Thank you, Heinz. Let's get some stuff done today. Tomorrow, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, but for sure, middle of the week, they're talking <coughs> really cold. So me and Cole and Cooper, we need to sit down, go through our inventory. So we got a big filter sale coming up, so we need to get kind of things written down. There's a big tool sale coming up. We always try to see what we might need for some tools for the year. Try to get them on a good sale. All right, let's see what we can get tore up. I know Cole is over at his place. <laughs> Ah, he's working on cleaning out a bin. I thank him for doing that because I'm still kind of a little bit dragging yet. And I, even with a face mask on, to stand in a bin. So thank you, Cole, for doing that. I know that's a really important job. I think I'm going to work on some lights on a semi that haven't been every light working on the front. That'd be an inside job. I think I can handle that. Come along for the ride. Anna's going to help us too, but hey, for everybody's memory, which drawer is Teflon tape. Ooh, look at that, Teflon tape. Looks like we're, we better put some down on our sheet because we're getting kind of low on Teflon tape. 
This just looks funny. My entire life, this room has been up to here and stuff. But now, we have all kinds of room. Okay, I need to get outside. So, oh man. So the beginning of this video was a little bit awkward because I thought I was gonna be down cleaning the basement and I was just gonna run out, start the augers real quick and then go back to cleaning the basement and I was making a separate video for cleaning the basement. But then I knocked on the side of the bin and I realized it was down to the floor and I need to turn the sweep on. It's supposed to be super cold in a few days and it's not super cold today so I'm gonna climb work in the bin while it's nice out and then we'll work in the basement when it's cold out. You, you feel you feel me? Okay, good. Gloves! I really need to stop running on ice. I just fell and it hurt. I'm going to make you guys wait here in the shop while I climb inside the bin. Number one, it's super dusty in there, so you're not gonna be able to see me. Number two, it's super loud in there, so you're not gonna be able to hear me. And number three, it's super cold in there and the camera doesn't like the cold. I'm just kidding with you guys. Kidding about leaving me in there, but not kidding about the other stuff. See that thing right there? That's the reason why I can't pull out of the center sump. That came over the hole and it plugged it. So what I had to do was open up these side sumps, get it sucked down, so that way I'll be able to get a pull or something and see if I can break that chunk free that's over the hole in the middle. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm yelling as loud as I can right now. These augers are loud. on the old Freightliner. We had a bunch of lights on the front not working. And I think one bright worked on one side, but if it was on the other side didn't work, my stepdad, John, will be very happy. He likes running this truck in the fall time to help us get the crop out. In the last couple years, the lights haven't been that great. So I think I got him working everything on high and everything on dim. He'll be very, very happy because I know when you're out and about on strange gravel roads and stuff, it is nice to see. So John, we got the lights working for you. I can't guarantee how long they'll work, but they are working right now. So if they break right away, it's your fault. It will rework on them again. There we go. We got them going. Ronnie's back. Ronnie's back again. Ah. <sighs> Working inside the bin here isn't the most interesting job in the world. It's very monotonous, but I'll show you what I did all day yesterday. So this arm looking thing right here is called the sweep. The sweep. So what the sweep does is there's an auger on the front side of it and it carries grain to the center, which brings it to the outside of the bin. And then on the end of the sweep here, there's a little wheel that spins and it keeps it pushing forward into the corn. So the sweep makes the bulk of the cleaning process pretty easy. So there's only two reasons why I need to be in here. The first one is I'm monitoring this sweep here to make sure that a big slide or something doesn't come down and accidentally plug the sweep, which would cause the belts inside that casing to burn off. So not only would we have to replace the belts, I would have a plugged floor auger as well. And that's never fun. And the second reason why I'm in here is the sweep does not get all of the grain. The sweep sits about half an inch off the ground, so it leaves a nice little trail of corn under it. So I literally just stand here and twiddle my thumbs until it's moved forward a foot, and then I take the shovel and broom and scoop everything up, kick it over the front side. This particular bin's a 48 foot bin and it holds 50,000 bushels of corn. The floor sweep takes about 12 hours to empty out. So thank goodness for radio headphones. We could empty a lot faster but you see this yellow auger here this thing has got a ginormous pulley on it that pulley makes this auger spin slow a slow auger is nice if you're wanting to move grain slow but I'm not wanting to move it slow. Since this auger takes it away so slow, I can only open this one up about quarter way. So that's why it takes so long. Next year we're putting in a different auger so that way it can take it away a lot faster. Hopefully we'll be back when the bin's empty. We got some stuff out of the big shop yesterday. So me and Cooper, he's actually ahead of me in the tractor. We are gonna go over to one of the other farms, grab our 16 row planter out of the machine shed and bring it home and put it in the heated shed. They're talking pretty cold for a few days, like high of two. So we thought it'd be a good time 
to hide in the heat and kind of check the planter over. I don't think there was much wrong with the planter when we put it away last year, but you know how Murphy's Law is, how things seem like they break over the winter when you don't even use it. We do need to go through it, make sure it's ready. Let's hope there's not much wrong, but it seems like a guy always finds stuff and it takes time to go through them. I'll get some videos when we're hooking on to it. Hey, who do we got there? Looks like some crazy guy. Oh, it's Cooper. It's kind of a road hog, isn't he? All right, let's go down and get the planter. Hopefully it hooks on easy and get her out of here. Temperature right now is about 12 degrees. We got Cooper up there. He's gonna attempt to hook the planter up. There we go, buddy. <laughs> hey, Coop, we might have to go over that way just a little bit. You can see the deep thought in his head. There we have it. She's clean. <laughs> that never gets old. The daughter, Summer, called up this morning and she goes, Dad, what are you doing today? Well, daughter, Summer, it's only like minus eight degrees outside right now, actual temperature. So I'm hiding in the shop today. Dad, could I bring my car over and have you change the oil in it for your favorite daughter? Well, I sat there and thought for a few minutes. I only got one daughter. That's what we're doing. We're gonna change oil in her car, so come along for the ride. Then she says, can you change the oil in my husband's car too? Well, I thought about it for a minute. He's my favorite son-in-law, so I thought I can change his oil too. The only bad part is there's snow dripping underneath the car and it gets all over your face and everything, but we're gonna do it, get her done, then they'll be good for another 4,000 miles. So probably another month they'll be calling me up again. Looking at the clock, it is dinner time, so I'm gonna run up to the house because my little tummy is getting hungry, and I don't know what this tool is stuck to the wheel for, but probably not the brightest place for it. Cooper! Cooper! But, oh, we brought the planter down yesterday before it got super cold today. So we're gonna start going through this little bugger. Hopefully maybe this afternoon, start checking it over. I don't think there's a lot wrong with it, but until you get actually picking at it, you never know. But let's go up and eat some lunch. Then we can come back down after lunch, try to decide what we're gonna tear into. It's cold out, the wind's blowing about 30 miles per hour. It's gonna be a good day just to hide in the shed. And I know summer's coming down this afternoon with another vehicle to change oil. We'll get that done when she gets here. Finding anything major, Cooper? Well, not really. Yet. Cole ain't here working, so me and Dad have to do all the work like usual. And the other day, when Cole posted on Instagram spilling that corn, that was him, not Dad. He's correct on that. But I did go over and help him for about 15 minutes last night, do some scooping, but he had most of it cleaned up. But me and Cooper right now, we're kind of running around the planter, checking things out. Some bushings bad, a few disc openers we had to replace. We're just kind of giving her the go through. Yes, that's right. Cooper was telling the truth. It was my fault that I overfilled the wagon. What happened was I didn't have the trap door open far enough on the wagon, so the auger going in was filling faster than what was going out but it was a very slow process of this happening so while i was inside the big bin i didn't poke my head out of the bin for 30 minutes and sure enough i look out and there's a gigantic pile of corn i hopped down in here with the grain shovel and i hand scooped eight skid loader buckets full of corn and i also got all the other corn piles cleaned up so now there's just food here for the birds i would have got all this scooped up real nice too but it was snowing and, and it was really windy and cold so i decided to sacrifice the three dollars worth of corn we'll get this cleaned up later though so it doesn't get all rotten, stinky, and cruddy looking. But there we have it, guys. This is the end of the video. So if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas, or just want to tell me how good looking I am, be sure to write it down in the comments. And then lastly, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to stay tuned for what we're doing here and want to be notified when I post new videos, if you hit the subscribe button, it does all that for you. Okie doke, guys. We'll see you in the next video.